Inquisitor's Log, Day 10. We've been wandering the Fade for... ever, it seems. Everybody's losing their minds here. Solus had to eat what was left of his hair to survive. Blackwall won't shut the hell up about Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And Varric has since run out of stories, except for the one that he won't tell us. And all he does is lament how he could never admit his feelings for Cassandra. Stroud won't shut up about his stupid mustache. Hawk keeps whispering Ander's name in the night. As for me, I am lamenting the fact that my only regret is I could never woo the ex-Templar of my dreams. But unfortunately, he's married and running the king of- and running the Ferelden, so I have to make do with Cullen. Will we find our way out? That's still up in the air, unfortunately. Now if you'll excuse me, One less to worry about. I have to go talk to this guy. I came to the Temple of Sacred Ashes with the Faithful, ready to help at the Conclave. I prayed to the Maker for peace, but the mountains shook and fell and buried me. Alone in the darkness, my legs crushed. I cried in fear of a world with no Maker, fading in and out of dreams of monsters inside the black. I light my final hours. Let me go to the Maker without the terrors of darkness confounding me. In other words, find me a damn candle because I'm afraid of the dark. Must be something here. Let's look around. Probably over here. No, not over here. Oh. I found a candle. Oh, won't you light my candle? There you go. Oh, thank you. I needed an up for my magic. I greatly appreciate that. Nevertheless, we must find our way out. Are we gonna find anything here other than more green and red? This is definitely not Christmas. Up here we go, I guess. Wait, is that someone over there? Dorothea? Is that you? By the Maker. Could that be? I greet you, Warden. And you, Champion. Divine Justinia. But... You died. You're supposed to be dead. From the little I remember of what happened at Haven, I thought you were dead. I fear the Divine is indeed dead. It is likely we face a spirit. Or a demon. Oh, yeah. You think my survival impossible, yet here you stand alive in the Fade yourselves. In truth, proving my existence either way would require time we do not have. Surely you can understand our concerns and explain what you are. I am here to help you. You do not remember what happened at the Temple of Sacred Ashes, Inquisitor. Well, that's right. I'm, I'm drawing a complete blank here. No, I don't. The memories you have lost were taken by the demon that serves Corypheus. It is the nightmare you forget upon waking. It feeds off memories of fear and darkness, growing fat upon the terror. The false calling that terrify the Wardens into making such grave mistakes? It's work. I would gladly avenge the insult this nightmare dealt my brethren. You will have your chance, brave warden. This place of darkness is its lair. So why do the demons serve Corypheus? Corypheus seems to have a lot of demons at his disposal. How does he command so many? I know not how he commands his army of demons. 
This power may come from the Blight itself, but the Nightmare serves willingly, for Corypheus has brought much terror to this world. He was one of the Magisters who unleashed the first Blight upon the world, was he not? Every child's cry as the Archdemon circles. Every dwarf's whimper in the deep roads. The nightmare has fed well. So, how do we get the hell out of here? Can you help us get out of the Fade? That is why I found you. When you entered the Fade at Heaven, the demon took a part of you. Before you do anything else, you must recover it. These are your memories, Inquisitor. Oh, you mean the rocks? Oh, you mean they have my memories, don't you? They look more like demons than memories, but okay, I'll take your word for it. Because so far, you may be an ally. I don't know yet. Won't know until we kill everything. Also, I'm hoping there'll be more supply caches along the way. I'm pretty low already. And at least we have Hawk and Stroud here to help fight. Is that all of them? Good. Hold to recover memory. Here we go. Run where you can! Warn them! Isn't this like what we had to deal with back with Haven? Or whatever we were when we were closing the first gate? What's going on here? Yeah, it just sounds like we're pe repeating stuff that we saw earlier in the playthrough. Bring forth the sacrifice. And that's definitely gotta be Corypheus' voice. Oh boy. Wait, are those wardens? That's warden um, uniforms. What are the wardens doing capturing the divine? Are they under Corypheus' oh, control? Oh, 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 oh. Why are you doing this? You, of all people. Keep the sacrifice still. She was meant as a sacrifice, huh? Someone They're still ugly. Help me! You don't sound like you're in a lot of pain, but I guess they can't really do much while you're trapped like that. What's going on here? I didn't have that staff at that time. Or that outfit, I would assume. So that's how I got the anchor. Everyone else see that? So, your mark did not come from Andraste. It came from the orb Corypheus used in his ritual. Corypheus intended to rip open the veil, use the anchor to enter the Fade, and throw open the doors of the Black City. Not for the old gods, but for himself. When you disrupted his plan, the orb bestowed the anchor upon you instead. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I expected. I never thought Andraste did this. I did this myself, through my actions. No maker required. And now you may be certain. You cannot escape the lair of the Nightmare until you regain all that it took from you. You have recovered some of yourself, but now it knows you are here. You must make haste. I will prepare the way you head. Is 
she disappeared. Something troubles you, Hawk. Those were Grey Wardens holding the Divine in that vision. Yeah, exactly. Their actions led to her death. I assumed he had taken their minds, as you have seen him do before. Come, we can argue after we escape this dark place. Oh, I intend to. Yes. Can I move now? Hello? Game? Game? I kind of want to I've never move. met the Divine. You think that was really her? We have survived in the Fade physically. Perhaps she did as well. Or, if it is a spirit that identifies so strongly with Justinia that it believes it is her, how can we say it is not? She seems interested in helping us. That much is clear. And the Nightmare? From what she said, I don't look forward to meeting it. Sounds like it preys on fear. Stealing people's memories, that's low, even for a demon. Fear is a very old, very strong feeling. It predates love, pride, compassion, Every emotion, save perhaps desire. Be wary, the nightmare will do anything in its power to weaken our resolve. After what it did to my fellow wardens, I pray we find some way to strike it down. Oh, we will, don't you worry about that. These demons will f surely pay for what they have done. Also, look at that strange ass statue. Looks like a combo of the Scream and Cthulhu. But I digress. We have much to do. But look, can I go anywhere this way? Nope, okay. I'm gonna get lost in this place. I just know I'm gonna get lost here. And we're gonna have to be fighting a lot of demons. Okay, come on. Bring it! Bring it! <laughs> Seriously, will there be more supply caches along the way? I have a feeling I'm going to be needing them. Yay, Shadow Essence. Also, what's this? Son, by the time you read this, the Darkspawn poison will have claimed me. We gave all at Starkhaven, and we brought, bought time for the Wardens to slay the Archdemon. But when I smelled the corruption in my wound, I knew I would not live to see you again. Fyrus will want men to search the battlefield. He sees Starkhaven as rising to greatness, and the weapons of a hundred dead Grey Wardens lying unclaimed on the ground will help him conquer the Free Marches. You must refuse. The battlefield is soaked in poison, and no speech, no bullying, no taunts about cowardice can change that. Anything that roams that battlefield now will die. Stall him however you must and watch for the crows. Those birds have the good sense to fear the blight. When you see them gather, then you will know that the poison is gone and it is safe to search the battlefield for trinkets to satisfy Phyrus. I will not be here to guide you, son, so you must learn from the crows. They watch patiently and they let their fear keep them alive. Please, I beg you, watch the crows and do the same. Sora. Sora from Kingdom Hearts? No, not Sora! That's probably not. Imagine if that was the case. Like, Kingdom Hearts and Dragon Age. It's weird enough that it's got Final Fantasy and Disney in it. Imagine if Dragon Age was in it. Eh, it'd probably be too dark. But, you never know. There's probably a fanfic out there somewhere. Ah, uh, we have a visitor. Is that you, God? Some silly little girl comes to steal the fear I kindly lifted from her shoulders. You should have thanked me and left your fear where it lay, forgotten. You think the pain will make you stronger? What fool filled your mind with such drivel? Boy, God turned out to be the only good one here. who grows stronger from your fears is me. But you are a guest here in my home. So by all means, let me return what you have forgotten. You kind of sound like the sloth demon from the first game. Anyway. Oh, okay. I was like, what the hell just happened there? There we 
There we go. What's this say? Master unveiled a new altar. It stands higher than a man, like a great statue, and great spikes jet out from its length, hungry for blood. Master calls it the Claw of Dumont, and it says that the altar will help bring Tevinter to glory. I praised it, as was expected, and Master smiled. It was good to see him smile again. He has been fearful of late, vexed by, vexed by the loss of followers. He has met with his other priests, and in secret I have heard them discussing ways to return the people to Venter to the ways of the old gods, and is only as is only just. He spoke to me later that day, the, and asked that I call him Corypheus, as it was the name he would take for himself after a ritual master. Now Corypheus told me that my people, the elves of old, were tied to the Fade, and that in order to carry out the will of Dumont, he would need to call upon the magic that lives in our blood. Corypheus told me to gather all of the elven servants and bring them to the western hall of our home at midnight. That is the hall where the Claw of Dumont is now kept. There are shackles across the top of the great altar and pools lined with runes beneath the claws. I have sent my wife and children away, but have not mourned the others. A few I may save. If I tried to save all of us, we would only be killed in some other way, and others would die in our place. Master once laughed and joked. He could be stern, but he was not a cruel man. The weakening of the temples brought fear into his heart, and that fear has changed him. The cuts upon his arms are deeper and longer, where he used his blood magic more often. He speaks to his wife little, he listens only to the voices in his dreams. It is almost midnight, the Claw of Dumont, great and spiked and merciless, is all my mind can see. I must gather the others, my family is safe, Corypheus will take me, but not those I love. Words somehow preserved in blood at the statue's base. I expected worse. These are but minor servants of a nightmare. Pity. So he was a normal Tevinter mage at some point, but something spooked him to the point where he changed. And he sacrificed all his mages? What's this? I watched the blight take my land. I had nowhere to go. I tended the fields as I had, even as my flock died and my family sickened. My body racked by pains and chills, I saw too late the poison that had crept into the land. In my fever dreams, the sickness covered this whole world, and I wept in fear for the family I killed with my foolish pride. Show me that this world survives. Show me that the poison does not take everything. Well, I have some flowers here. There you go. Thank you. I don't really need constitution. I'm a mage. My focus is really on magic and willpower, but thank you. Just relieving evilness where I go, I guess. Meantime, onward and upward, we got to get to the Divine, if she truly is the Divine. I don't know if she truly is the Divine. She might be a demon tricking us. Maybe she is, in fact, a benevolent spirit. Perhaps it is the soul of the Divine. I found another Illuvion. Wouldn't that be funny if we found Meryl's Illuvion in here somewhere? Watch out! I don't know what those are, but they're coming our way! Those are spiders. Duh. Even I can tell that. They're spiders. They're ugly things. Well, that wasn't so hard. Thanks for the spider icker. At least I got that quest taken care of. So what's this way? Who is this? I'm not familiar with this. They think they own us. They think they decide whether we live or die. They sit there smug in their armor, ready to cut off our heads for the slightest transgression, as though we don't strive every day to stay sane to keep the demons away. They can't control us any longer. I won't go back to the circle, not ever. I thought about it last night, being back in the tower, their eyes on me, and all of it came back. All the years, head down, don't clench your fingers, be a good mage, be a quiet mage, and I realized I don't want to make peace with the Templars. I want them to burn, want it so badly that the bed caught fire and wouldn't go out until Ivan iced it all over. It's still there inside me. I want them to feel the fear they made me feel. I want them to know what it's like. We're leaving for the Conclave in a few hours. If those bastards so much as blink the wrong way, I'll let them see what an apostate looks like. From the Journal of an Unknown Mage. Well, that's tragic. Oh, 
Yeah, it's kind of hard to say, because there's good and bad in both mages and templars. Just like in real world. There's always people that are like... You know, there's people who are... Do things for bad reasons or good reasons, what have you. It's all gray. There's no real black and white. But I digress. Perhaps I should be afraid. Facing the most powerful members of the Inquisition. <laughs> like Blackwall. Ah, there's nothing like a Grey Warden, and you are nothing like a Grey Warden. I'll show you a Warden's strength, beast. What? Blackwall, what did he mean? Like, that just sounded really ominous and weird. Are you actually not a warden? Like, I don't even know what's going on. Ah, I'm on fire! Once again, Hawk is in danger because of you, Varric. You found the Red Lyrium. You brought Hawk here. Just keep talking, Smiley. No one seems to be overtly affected by what this guy's saying. That's a good thing. At least no one's like, you know, bowing down to this guy's jackassery. I'd be curious to see what he says about other members of the party if I had I chose different people. Oh, I'm on fire. Does the water help? The water does not really help. That's kind of disappointing. The water doesn't really help. Because there's water everywhere. Durth ma herelan. Ma banal in asalin. Marsolas in a martin. Unal nadas. So what was he telling you there, Solus? It's obvious it was directed at you. Was he like insulting your mom or something, or insulting the fact that you have no hair? Because you ate it all? So what does this note say? I went to the venture when I was a child. I remember dragon statues everywhere, big ones. I shivered as I walked between them, afraid they were going to bite me or breathe fire. My parents hushed me and told me the Magisters liked the dragons as a sign of their power. Dragons are beasts, mindless, terrible. The archdemon that comes with each blight is an offense to the Maker. We know all these things, but the Magisters don't care. And it is the same with the mages. So much danger, so much power in hands, not ready for it, and the mages only wish to celebrate themselves. The Magisters are what the mages of Ferelden or Lay want to be. Our rulers, holding us in terror so that we wonder what they will bite, if they will bite as we walk by them. I joined the Templars to keep such mages under control. I have killed many since the rebellion we all saw coming. Now the Divine wishes us to meet them at the Conclave and give them a chance to make peace. I will go, I will smile, but if the dragon statue looks ready to bite, I will strike first. I am not a child and I will not be afraid. From the Journal of an Unnamed Templar. Okay then. Did you think you mattered, Hawk? Did you think anything you ever did mattered? Save your city. How could you expect to strike down a god? Anders is going to die, just like your family and everyone you ever cared about. 
You leave Anders out of this. Of course, a fear demon would know where to hurt us most. We must ignore it. Pretty much. But I would think the best one to probably attack with oh, is... Uh, Ow! It's too spider. I would think the best would attack her family, because... At least in my playthrough, Bethany still lives. I mean, yeah, her brother and her mom are still dead. And her dad. Those were little fears. Tiny manifestations spawned from the nightmare itself. And they take the form of spiders. Something so many fear. Spiders? That is not what I saw. Remember, we walk in the Fade. Demons of fear shape their appearance to unnerve each of us. Wonderful. So what do they look like to you, Blackwall? Do they look like the children from Awakenings or something? Little Genlocks? Or something? You are too young to worry so, my child. Write your worries down here. All your fears are smaller once you have defined them. Listed in a child's shaky hand. What if Darkspawn come back? Father said one day he'll die. Darkspawn underground. Darkspawn under our house. Darkspawn coming up from basement. The sun will die. Blackbits on bread could be blight. Getting sick and dying for blight. Grey Warden's coming to make father go back. Father dying fighting Darkspawn. Dark patch on father's arm that he hides from mother. Father says he hears music. From a letter lying near a cluster of spider eggs. So I guess that little kid's father was a Grey Warden. And he's slowly dying. Poor kid. I found iron. That'll be useful later. There's more of those Screamer Cthulhu the nightmare statues. Is closer now. It knows you seek escape. With each moment, it grows stronger. Okay. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna kill these things. Ow! I could probably kill these guys first before having to get to the supply cache. Might as well use what I can first before I uh, refill. more potions than anyone. Did I get them all? No, I didn't get them all. Now did I get them all? Nope, still haven't got them all. Okay, we good? Are we good? Good. <laughs> 